Hello and welcome to a brand new live commentary in the top lane. Today we are playing some Ilawi, this very special skin. Uh, we will be playing, weirdly, it looks like against a top lane Viger, which is something I've seen a little of. I think uh, Voiboy did it not too long ago. No, you know, I think it might have been uh, Solar and Ectum only who did it, actually. Um, so I'm intrigued by this with the comment and whatnot. I hope that I crush him early, obviously. Uh, I don't really know anything about this matchup other than I want to beat him up as soon as possible because I don't want him to get strong. I'm not sure what he's going to take level 1 as an ability. I don't think he'll take his stun. Maybe he'll take that AoE Comet thing rather than the skill shot, but I think it's the skill shot that he needs to last it with, so I'm not sure. I decided to pick up W first, which is going to help me actually hit these last hits and uh, take control, take charge of this lane pretty quick. Obviously, I could have also done the Q for some range and also harass. Um, but I decided uh, I'm going to go W. I tried it once and I, I liked it. What can I say? It felt really good. I guess it'll depend on the matchup. But with Q, I could hit Viger, which is true. Look at that. He's gone for the skill shot. Um, I could hit Viger with the Q. But also... Um, I don't want to hit the wave at the same time, which is going to push too aggressively. So I'm finding this is working out okay so far. As long as I'm getting these last hits, which I certainly am. And he really pretty much isn't while the wave is slow pushing. That's going to give me some nice pressure right here. We've got the, we've got the tentacle set up. Nice. Very good double slam there. And we're actually going to get it as well. Oh, almost. Just not quite. I backed out. I should have gone for it. That's really good harass for us. And a little bit of gold on top of everything else. There's the Q. Watch out for that. Get the cannon. Oh, I hate myself. I'm terrible at last hitting the first cannon. I don't know why. It's just not possible for me. Ah, oh, I thought he would, like, path around a bit. I guess not. All right, yeah, he, I guess he really doesn't want to pat the round a bit. It's time for us to ward. It's three minutes. We've got to be a little bit careful. It is a Hecarim. It's going to be really quick and ruin my day pretty much every time. I look forward to that. We want to shove this into tower if we can, but I don't want to tentacle these waves too much just yet. just want to make sure I hit him with it. That's uh, the play, the plan. Let's walk out of that. Make sure we keep getting these last hits. And there it is. All right, cool. We'll just flash that. Keep walking. And get the kill. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, uh, what, did you not expect the ignite or something? Can't believe he walked that hard into me. All right, this guy's quite vulnerable too now. If I could just hit the E. I don't really need to. It's just I'm worried about his stun, so I'd like to have the E sort of going on him before I went in on him. That works. Oof, that works for him too. This is kind of sketchy. I should probably just back. God, careful, careful. Don't let him hit you. God damn, am I not greedy for last hits. And cannons that I'm not going to get. Just kidding. I have my W. I cheated. All right, quick back, quick back. We have a lot of gold, and we've destroyed the first gank. That was great. Uh, he's quite vulnerable right now, but he probably will back. Uh, let's go ahead and pick our first item. Faze is going to help me with the movement speed, and I will grab the control ward for the try, just to have it down. Five minutes in the game. I don't like to get a control ward too early if I'm not certain I'm controlling the waves and the lane, but i got to say it's going pretty well so far. We have over 10 more last hits than him. And he's completely out of mana. He's got to go back. I have control of the lane entirely because he's not even going to be in it. Although he will be teleporting back, I'm sure. He's still here. I got to say. Ballsy move. I'm going to path around. He's going to know I'm back because my tentacles are going to sort of activate. Let's see if he's got a ward. Oh my god, he doesn't. He's got no mana of any kind. He's used flash. One more auto, and we get him. So he was there, like, panicking, trying to dodge 
um, trying to dodge the impending E that he thinks is coming. But the key there is there is no E coming. <laughs> it's just literally, yeah, I'm just going to hit you, dude. And while you sidestep, I'm just going to get closer and closer. I'll just back on that. Honestly, it's in the tower already. He's used his teleport. I've got flash and teleport out of him. And uh, we can back. Oh, perfect. Thank you very much. Just a quick mana biscuit that I can sell to get the perfect gold to immediately rotate back with. Unbelievable start so far. Very good. Now, I will admit this Black Cleaver isn't crazy useful because they don't have a tanky team. They have an Azir mid. Their support is Soroka, so no tankiness there. And then, of course, the guy I'm against is a Viger, so he's not tanky. But the armor pen is still good. The movement speed is extremely powerful and important. Um, so it's still good to go. But maybe I could have changed my build up a little bit based on the team. But I really don't know what I would do other than Black Cleaver, to be honest. The 20% CDR is so good. It's so important, you know? Alright, it's pushing up my tower. I'll tell you what, I'll ping because he's got no flash. He is vulnerable. Ooh, double slam right here. Not on anything, though. Because <laughs> the whole wave just destroyed me. That was quite nice. If I get that, nah. Could have queued as well to get that. Bit dumb. Uh, if he's backed, which I think he might have, pushing it into the tower there, I'm going to ping missing. This is very interesting lane so far. Pretty fun, though. If he's backed, I obviously want to shove into tower as soon as possible. That was greedy, dude. I was hanging on. I was hanging on. I could have just W'd, but I wanted to Q both of them, get both of them. I only got the cannon, and it was risky. Rotating here as we shove into the tower. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything here. But hey, I'm here for the harass. Nice. Cool. Alright, rotating back. Literally just putting a bit of pressure on him. Scaring him. Put a bit more priority on the mid lane. You know, do some work with that. And uh, hopefully help my mid out. Just a tiny bit. I don't think I can walk in on this guy. Does have a wave. I have ignite. He's just used his stun. Wow. Oh my god, that actually got me. Wow. Wow. That lasts an eternity. There was no doubt in my mind. Oh, and he gets the ward. There's no doubt in my mind right there. There's no way, you know. He's he's not. He's not gonna stun me if I just walk up and W him. And it lasted that bloody long that he did. That's too bad. He's quite vulnerable there. When he used that stun, that should have been some work done on him. We'll trade some abilities here. Just walk out of that, just barely. I'll have my boots soon. I've got free boots. I was about to say walk out of that stun, but it does hit me. It's fine. Pull that cannon into that was the idea. Didn't quite go that way. I've got to rotate. There's something happening. Jungle is there, but I'm on my way. He's level 5. That's... Yeah. I think this was a bad rotate. We'll see, won't we? I'll slow him. Come on. Alright, we got that one. Unfortunately, uh, I wanted that Ezir and I had the Ignite. Um, oh, God. I gotta rotate. It's already over. Just feed in my uh, enemy top laner there, jungle. Thank you, thank you. I gotta rotate back. We'll use this just to see if he's still in mid. Yeah, he was. I was thinking he might be. Alright. See if he passes. Okay, he's going back that way. If he walked this way, I could have gone on him. I don't have my ult though, so maybe not. But I think he'll have used his ult to get that kill on the jungler. Was what I was kind of hoping for. We get red out of that whole exchange and a good rotate kill, but it's just so unfortunate that my jungler decided to go die to him, basically. You know, it takes away from the win. Makes it not quite as good. But, I guess the overall trade there is that I get a buff out of it. And, on top of that, we get two plates on the mid laner, and you can't really say that's bad. I'm on my way. Oh, 
You're fine. I'll just sit in this bush. Good. That's... Oh, damn it. It was watered. Okay. I was like, good. That reveals if it was watered. And hey, look, it wasn't. Oh, it was. Never mind. 20 seconds of my next ward. He's defeated my control ward in the try, which normally lasts the whole goddamn game at my elo. Kind of sad. I shall remember it. He may be backing right now. So we're going to go ahead and push. Put the tentacle down here. Send it here. Should be able to get that. Yep. Get it. Got it. Got it. All right, cool. Last thing, dude. It's important. I'll do it. Got 2k gold. He's probably backing right now, running up the tower, up the lane. Uh, I thought about getting that plate. Plates are obviously very important, but it's vulnerable. You know, the jungler is missing. I don't have the vision. Um, he, I know he's coming up the lane. He has teleport. You know, there's many reasons why I was a little bit concerned there. All right, I'm definitely going Merc Treads here since they've got the CC. And we'll buy that and the new control ward for the try. Let's take a look at their team. So we have AP from Viga. Soraka and their Azir, so overall more AP. We have some CC in the form of Silence and a Stun. I don't really know how the CC of Hecarim works, if it considers itself like Stun or whatever. It's just sort of a shove. So I'm not really sure about that one. Don't at least miss the cannon XP. Okay, cool, I got it. If I'm going to miss the cannon, I at least want the XP. Thingy missing. We at least get this one. Yeah, we can. Love the devil tentacle slam. It's so good. Very strong defensive right there. Let's go ahead and put this down. We see Viga is in top lane, so we're going to go and hard shove this in. Drake is up. We're going to ping that. We know they're not on it because our support just walked past it. Just paying attention to our map, basically. Try to get these last hits. i got to do that and then this. Damn, dude. All right, I know he just used teleport. There's no way he path like that. Go ahead and ward like further down because you know Sekarim is very quick. Just gonna chill here. He might have a ward, I don't know. We're gonna find out. Stand a bit further back just in case he does. Oh, yep, he definitely does. <laughs> he rotated all the way for that. I can't rotate down there. I've got to push this in. So Godspeed to my yep. To my mid laner. It's complaining that the guy is sitting on him, but it's Hecarim. Alright, he's been a bit dumb. He's claiming Sejuani has the same movement as uh, Hecarim with Predator and Ghost. I don't think so. But uh, yeah, I would like a bit more from our Sej. I mean, she's not done well. I can't deny that. I can't argue that. It's a bit interesting. Look at what's going on in my lane. Wait, out of that infinite stun that lasts 10 years. Do some harass on that. Cool. Ah, I did get stunned, but we got it. That's going to be quite nice. I'll take the 25 gold, obviously. We do have this potion to use in the next fight. I'm going to do my absolute best to remember that I have it and try and use it. Because I'm definitely going to forget. Heads up. Let's go ahead and reward. There's level 2 on the all. I think he backs up. Oh my god, he didn't. Thinking about just diving him. Just walking up on him. Alright, so yeah, well, they trade again. Hecarim once again gets the trade. He just does that. He just keeps doing that. I'm so sad about missing this plates and whatnot. But yeah, he keeps killing the mid and dying every time. So what's our jungler doing exactly in reaction to that? Anything? I don't really know. Whoops. Wasn't paying that much attention. Want this cannon, then we gotta run. Alright, we have plenty of gold. We can go back here. Lane's shoved in. He has to go defend it. We're obviously doing better on farm, kills, everything. We're doing good. I'm concerned about how my mid just keeps inting. I'm concerned about how my jungle is not doing well. Bot lane seems to be doing good though, so at least there are some swings with this roundabout. I guess I'm gonna sell that uh, just to make sure I can get this pickaxe, which is fine. It's fine. It's a useful potion and everything, but. 25 attack damage. You know, that's pretty good. Alright, we got to go back to a lane because he's back and he's pushing. We don't want to give up the first tower. Although that might happen. Oh no, it's already happened. Never mind. Sweet. 
Still defend my tower though. Push in and rotate. I'm going to ping that he's on the rotate. They're kind of setting up for a Rift Herald. Looks like our team's doing Drake. And Viga's missing. That's kind of a bad... I don't know. I'm concerned. I need to push now. Wow, they did it really quick. I guess Draven's doing good. And there's my mid laner. Okay, cool. Never mind. We're all right. So what's really important is that I, I do well this game, you know? I carry this game. Thought he was throwing out the stun there, but... Turns out he wasn't. Let's go ahead and use this tentacle to great advantage. Oh, I stood right in that. <laughs> nice pull. Walk out the stun. Wait it out. Wait it out. And there you go. Actually wait it out, right, guys? Oh, my God. Well played. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I love this dumb character, man. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah. I guess the ult created a tentacle. And then that tentacle just slammed him because my E had activated because I just killed the ghost. Which meant it immediately slammed on him. Or I even spawned a tentacle. Alright, alright, alright. Did they get it already? I guess so. I guess they got the Herald. Someone got the Herald. I didn't really see. Can I scroll up and see? Diana got it. Okay, nice. Wow. Throughout all that, Diana was just taking the Herald, apparently. Maybe with our jungler and she just got the killing blow. I have to assume so. Alright, against this team, I still want to go Spirit Visage. There is still two AP, technically free. And, God, I love the extra heals you get from it. It's like, what, 30% more? It's nuts. Increase all healing received by 30%. So that and Death Stance is awesome. And since there's free AP, I want to do that first. Basically. We get the Tower. We get the Drake. We get the Rift Herald. We're doing good. Honestly, mm, all right, okay, you do it. And we have a minion, apparently. Interesting sieging going on right now. I'm not really sure. I gotta go back up top lane. He's probably gonna get that. I should have rotated. Me coming mid there was pointless. I didn't do anything. And I ultimately give him a tower. Now he may... Yeah, he should definitely die here. I mean, look at what's happening. Careful. Careful. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, we're alright. We're alright. But, you know, you gave me a fright. Alright, she's rotating bot as Diana. That's where the Rift Herald is, so that's what I'm considering. I think my top lane uh, swap should be about now. What's going on here, dude? Oh my god. Support versus support. Go on, bad. Clearly the superior support, dude. What a god. What a machine. What a man. <sighs> Alright, we see Hecarim is bot lane. We know Vyga's about to re-arrive in his lane right here. Put some pressure on him, though. I really thought she'd be okay. All right, we'll just hit this. We know they're all away. We see a teleport mid. Is that Viga? Yep. All right, we're starting to see Sejuani kind of doing some more stuff, which is nice. I'm going to ping careful. I'm not worried about two uh, ranged last hits there. I'm rotating down here because of him being here. I don't really know why he's here. It feels kind of bad. There's no objective for us to take. It's awkward. I have two wards. It's like, cool, I'll ward their jungle. No, I won't. It's already done. It's awkward. Damn, missed that last hit because it ran. Minions running away from me. It's like they don't want to die. What the fuck? We see four on the map. All five on the map. Warding these two out. Alright. Pinging careful. I gotta go. Top lane. I have a thousand gold. It's awkward. I just wanted to do something. And it's like, oh, well, I ward. Ah, oh, I can't. There's, there's nothing to ward. Alright, well, I'll uh, maybe harass these guys. Ah, oh, there's something happening above me. Okay, I'll ward them out the fight. I'm just kind of standing here. You know, it's, it's awkward. 
Definitely let this guy take the blue, though. That's good. So we did end up getting vision in their jungle. We did end up taking their blue. We did end up uh, doing something, I guess. But it was just in a really roundabout way, and it felt quite inefficient. But what I will say is there's a cannon here, so it's all worth it. You know, I'm going to get this cannon. I'm going to get this melee minion. All right. I missed two last hits for no reason. Maybe I won't get this cannon. <gasps> oh, God. I nearly just baited myself because that tentacle spawn. We get Mountain Drake. We see Vigas mid. We don't see anyone else. There's definitely going to be fight happening there. And there's no way I'm going to be there in time. So I'm just going to hard shove. Doesn't matter whether I get these last hits. I got to shove. Go, go, go. Wow. They actually get the kill and don't die. Amazing. My teams don't normally do that. They always die when I'm not there. So it's like, I got to be there. Ow. That was a very necessary tower hit. I had to take it. Give me the cannon. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. All right, he stopped my push. Credit where credit's due. He stopped my push. I'm going to rotate over to this shove on uh, mid lane. I kind of need to be here. Grab that. Beautiful. Great harass. I like that play, dude. Getting some tentacle slams because what I did there, we get the tier 2 in mid. We get the tier 2 in top. Great so far. We have the Mountain Drake still, so, you know. Good pushing power on the uh, towers. But unfortunately, they clean waves so fast. It's a bit awkward. Double slam. Gets one last hit. Oh, no. Ooh, big flash. Kind of lame that they get a flash out of you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and back. Look at the amount of gold I got. All right, I'm calling Baron. I'm calling it's Baron time. It's Baron time. Sell that just for the room. A little bit of extra gold, sure. Uh, man, that's what I'm talking about. Didn't I say, dude? Did I not say? Control wards. I placed them in the try. They last there for the entire game because I'm in silver. I'm in silver one, by the way. Almost gold. I've been playing ranked for a month and a half. I'm quite proud of that. Alright, we're just going to go ahead and ward. I'll actually use this so they don't have it for when we're on Baron. It does reveal some vision. Gives me something to do in the meantime. We want a ward here. Looks like bad set up for that. Yeah, boy! Let's go ahead and deward. All right. Let's do this thing. We're in position. We have the ult. We have everything. All my summoners. We have the vision. And there's Baron. Now, I could split push here. I'm not gonna. I'm considering the fact that I'm in silver. And every time I split push, my team just kill themselves, etc. Cool, we got a Soraka Flash for nothing there. Well, I say that. Bad did use his ult. Ow! Azir! This character's popular again because Conqueror. The new Conqueror. Alright. Send him in, boys. Our ADC is not here. Uh, what? Our ADC has chosen to split push instead. I'm going to ping careful and walk with him because I have to. Oh, Ooh, that was scary. Yeah, I don't really know about this. I would rather be killing an inhib right now. But uh, our carries here. We'll go with him. It's kind of how it works at this elo. You don't really get a choice. If your team goes somewhere, even though it's, like, inefficient, go help them, man. Like, yeah, I'd rather be taking, like, inhib. But I'm not going to say no to a tier 2. And I'm not going to int because... Uh, People aren't where they should be. Oh, I got hit by that stun. Nice harass. I don't know. Maybe I should be split pushing. Sejuani doing it's kind of dumb. Whoa. Who pulled him in? Did he just jump in there himself? What the hell? Right, let's set up another tentacle over here. Nice, uh... 
positioning thing. Grab her. Very good. Clean that up, which allows us to then just take the tower for free finally. Meanwhile, in mid. Very good. Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably the better one to split push, but I want it to be there for the team. Sejuani's he's not really doing anything, you know. In terms of damage or whatever. So it's not terrible. And we end up with two inhibs, so can you be that upset? Not really. However, I will be, and I'm very upset. Alright, let's build this death stance. A little overdue. And wait a second and grab this long sword. So we're 401 with 200 last hits. The enemy are requesting we just end, so it's looking pretty good. If I look at my top lane, I've got a 1,000 gold bounty. I've got to be really careful. We beaten him on the farm, and you know, he's a good farmer as well as Alawi, so that's great. We took his tower before he took ours, so cool. Uh, we got the Rift Herald, we got two Drakes, you know. We did rotate mid for a bit of map presence, like a couple times. Vyga did two, so we traded like one kill for one kill. He's done well, he's done well as far as the game's gone. But obviously I've won the lane. But I don't really know that Oviga should win the lane in top lane against Ilawi. I suppose it comes down to skill, but I think it's kind of favoured to me, right? It's definitely been a thing that's been happening lately, like, weird as it is. Seeing some Vyga go top, some other characters go top. I think the way Conqueror changed things is having an impact. Not that he was running Conqueror, and not that that's relevant here, but yeah. Guess we'll be pushing top lane. I'm just letting him know that maybe this isn't the time to uh, farm jungle. Ah, jungle at that, not even that. <laughs> like, the game's over, dude. <laughs> Alright, good. I like the passion. <laughs> it's just like... It's time to win the game. No, no, no. No, no, no. This is rock, guys, in the, our camp to take. It's important we take them. It's XP and gold, dude. Show me the way to win. Oh, dear. Whoop. Oh. Oh my god, that stun lasts infinitely, and I'm terrible. No, no, no. Not this time. Let me get it. Yes! Haha, <laughs> all me, baby. All me. I was 100% of that kill. If it wasn't for me, that kill would have never happened. I did like 90% of that. I still have my ult. Just not needed to use it. I wonder what the damage is going to look like. You know, where most of my um, damage seems to come from on Ilawi is ultimately getting like a two or three man ult and slamming multiple tentacles onto multiple targets and it's satisfying as hell. So I wonder what my graph looks like at the end of this. Convincing game. Feeling good about it. Finally, there we go. All right, uh, great job, um, Bard. You're, you're a god. I saw you kill Soraka on your own. You're, you're my hero. There you are, silver one. Almost 50 LP there, halfway up. Pretty cool. Hey, and I got an honor. That's nice. Uh, so, graphs. Got to look at the graphs. I want to see how much I did. Yeah, I didn't think it would be that much. I didn't because there was no real team fights that I was part of. Uh, where I got to ult and hit W once or twice. That would have been big spikes of damage. Draven doing good, bot lane doing good. It was kind of like a lot of kills on either side, and then we started getting the bounties. Mid was mainly getting wrecked by the Hecarim, and I was saying at one point, like, stop letting yourself get caught by him. Ward further, like I did at one point. You know, instead of warding my bush, I warded the river, so I knew when he was coming well in advance. Things like that, you know? You gotta adapt, I guess. But uh, I'm trying to learn how to play around this character because with Predator Ghost and him being Hecarim, he's so annoying, he's so fast, you know? But thank you very much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. I'll be back with more on the channel soon.